Hello there everybody, thanks for tuning in to watch another video here on Armor of God channel. Again my apology for sounding like a broken record, but I'd just like to say thank you so much for your support towards this channel, especially in contributing in any discussion we're having in the comments. Anyway in this video we're going to go back to the very beginning of our existence. It's a little bit interesting so here you go. Father Carlos Martins once asked during one of his lectures, when you were conceived inside your mother's womb, when you began to exist inside your mother, to whom did you belong? So there were three people who were involved in your making. Your mother and your father each provided the biological components for you, for your existence. At the moment that those biological components were just right, God infused a soul. But the question is, when you were conceived inside your mother's womb, when you began to exist inside your mother, to whom did you belong? You belong to the devil. And this is the legacy and the inheritance given to you by your first father, Adam. It's because of the sin of Adam that this is the case, right? And, and I say the sin of Adam because it was his sin. The covenant was made with Adam, not with Eve. When Eve ate the tree of the knowledge of good and evil in Eden, what happened after that? Nothing happened. If you doubt this, go on and read Genesis chapter 3. Nothing happened. But when Adam ate of the fruit, what happened? All hell broke loose. What we have to remember is the covenant was made with Adam and not with Eve. Adam was given the charge to look over the garden, to guard it and protect it. That is why the Messiah had to be a male. He had to be a new Adam and just as Eve prepared the sin for Adam, she handed the fruit to Adam. Adam was given the charge to look over the garden, to guard it and protect it. So where was he when Eve was dialoguing with the serpent? He was standing right next to her and he said nothing. He failed in his duty. That, that paved the way for the sin. The first thing Eve did wrong is she started talking with the sin. You never talk to the devil, ever. Father Carlos Martins went on to say that when you were conceived inside your mother's womb, the moment you began to exist, the penalty for Adam's sin found and met you immediately. So although God created you, your parents helped in the making, but you didn't belong to God because the penalty for that sin took effect, and that penalty cannot be understated because of the fall of Adam. The fall destroyed our relationship with God. It destroyed the order that was there. When we read in Genesis about the kind of relationship Adam and Eve had with God, we hear about God coming to Eden in the cool of the evening and walking and talking with them. So that order, that perfect order God established, was destroyed. But God, in his mercy and in his patience, decided to establish a new order because his original plan was for us to live with him in an earthly paradise in Eden. But at the end of the day, God has a plan to defeat evil and we just need to connect with that plan. So baptism not only removes original sin and removes the ownership, removing from you, from across your shoulders the yoke of slavery to a horrific master the devil, but baptism makes God your father. God the Father at your baptism becomes your father, and that means at your baptism, you become a child of God. Not everyone, not every human being, is a child of God. Right? In the New Testament, only those who are baptized are referred to as children of God. Jesus Christ became your Savior at your baptism. The Holy Spirit became your sanctifier and began to dwell inside you not around you, not hovering over you. He took up his residence in you. 